every year international snake bite awareness day is observed on september 19th that is today let us see about snake bite what are the do's and don'ts in today's video hi friends i am dr karamath this is scientific doctor channel in this channel health related information is explained via video which are released every week if you want to see such videos kindly subscribe to this channel also if you want any topic to be featured on these videos kindly mention it in the comment section below i'll try to incorporate them in subsequent videos this week's video is about snake bite this is one of the you no know, hidden public health dangers which are lurking around worldwide no which are often neglected worldwide every year around 5 and a half million people are bitten by snakes more than a lakh people die due to snake bites and more than 400000 are permanently disabled by these bites and the treatments in india alone around 46000 deaths happen every year due to snake bites we know every snake is not poisonous or venomous in india around 236 species of snakes are found but of them around 12 to 13 are poisonous the most common of them are the four species the major venomous snakes are four in number that is the cobra the crate the russell's viper and the saw scaled viper they constitute more than 95% of all poisonous snake bites why do people die of snake bites or why do they develop complications one of the most important factors for this is the exact reason for which i am making this video it is the delay in getting the patient who was bitten by the snake to the health facility nearby still there are worries regarding you no know, the treatment available and most often the patients are taken to traditional healers for example in india around 20% only reach the health facility remain go to traditional healers before reaching the health facility much later in the course of the disease by which time treatment may not be possible without either death or complications resulting to the patient So in this video we will see what are the do's and don'ts in case of a snake bite. We have to understand snake bites 70% of them are non venomous or non poisonous. It is not going to result in any danger. So first thing to understand is once a person is bitten by a snake it is not the end of the road. It is only 30% which are venomous. Okay. so what should we do so first of all we should reassure the patient okay in fact fear or anxiety you no know, makes the heart to beat faster and thereby if it is a poisonous bite because of the heart beating faster and the increased circulation the poison reaches you now all parts faster so you have to reassure so make him feel calm The second thing is do not search for the snake or do not try to capture or kill the snake. This will delay the rescue effort for the patient as well as increase the risk of more people getting bitten by the snake, okay? In fact, those who have come to save this patient might end up they themselves being bitten. So, do not try to capture or kill the snake. you have to make the patient lie flat preferably in a recovery position so that if they vomit there is no aspiration preferably the limb which was bitten can be you no know, little elevated from the heart level so if it is the lower limb or the leg it can be little elevated remove the shoes rings tight fitting clothes no socks anything which is tight because after the snake bite you can have a swelling and if there is a swelling and these constricting ornaments and clothes can become like a tourniquet and can create problems so remove any tight fitting ornaments or clothes previously people used to think 
the bite site no above that there should be a tight tourniquet fitting no this actually results in no reduction of blood supply thereby causing more damage and once this tourniquet release there is gush of circulation no releasing the toxin no even more fast so no tourniquet or no tight bands are recommended above the site of the bite similarly no washing no vigorous washing of the site is recommended no cuts or nicks should be made on the site though popularized by the films no sucking of blood from the site is recommended no it is not useful in fact the bacteria from the mouth can result in devastating secondary infections which itself can lead to even loss of a limb so do not try to suck the poison out no herbs or no local remedies need to be applied on the site the first thing to do is to get the patient to the nearest health facility available in fact if possible do not give anything by mouth so that no the treatment during the treatment the risk of vomiting all this is reduced get the patient to the nearest health facility in the shortest possible amount of time utilize the services like 102108 the emergency call numbers or even if you have you no know, two wheelers with you a person can hold this patient the patient should not be allowed to travel by himself but some other persons can hold them and transport them to the nearest health facility before transporting if possible you can immobilize the limb that is immobilize the leg or hand which was bitten like what you do for a fracture using a wooden scale or a wooden stick okay but this should not be too tight like a tourniquet compromising the circulation so the limb should be immobilized but the, it should not create a tourniquet effect as i said in the initial part you no know, mainly four snakes are venomous so what are the effects of snake bite snake bite can result in local envenomation that is you can have local swelling necrosis that limb can become you no know, if it is secondarily infected can even lose its function or need to be removed there can be a local swelling the second thing is they can have neurological symptoms like the patient may not be able to talk or the talk may be slurred the patient's eyes may be drooping called ptosis there can be double vision called diplopia so the patient can develop paralysis so all this is because of the neurotoxic effects this can result because of either cobra or crait in cobra the effects result within 6 hours but in crate it may be delayed up to 24 hours or even beyond so do not allow a person who is bitten by a snake no going just to a traditional healer coming back at home without visiting the health facility the snake bite can also be vasculotoxic can involve the blood vessels so can result in devastating bleeding so this happens mainly because of viper bites and sometimes especially the sea snakes can be myotoxic can result in toxicity to the muscle both myotoxic and vasculotoxic snake bites can ultimately end up in a kidney failure an acute kidney injury so all these can be the effect of snake bite okay how do doctors diagnose these effects doctors once the patient is received in the hospital if the relatives the common custom in india is to bring the dead snake with them okay by seeing the snake by observing the characteristics they determine whether it is poisonous or non poisonous or even if the snake is not available they do tests like 20 minute whole blood clotting time or other neurological test to understand which snake or most probably which system is involved because of the snake bite and if required this snake bite should be treated by anti snake venom this polyvalent anti snake venom works against all the four major poisonous snakes found in india sometimes rarely this may not work against the less common poisonous snakes 
I said 13 poisonous snakes out of which 4 are the most common. This polyvalent anti-snake venom works against the major, the most common, the 4, Cobra, Crate, Russell Viper and the Saw Scaled Viper. So all these it will work. If the patient requires more doses, the doctors will observe and then will inject more doses. But the patient has to stay in the health facility for a minimum of 24 hours, preferably for 48 hours or beyond because there can be late effects of snake bite. What happens in India often is the patient is taken to the traditional healer. There are no immediate effects. The patient comes home that the uh, healer has healed him. Because immediately after the bite, there might be no momentary loss of consciousness. Most often, this is not due to the poison, but due to the fear or the anxiety itself. So, once the, they go to the traditional healer, this consciousness is regained. Patient thinks they have become better. They come home. Once they wake up in the morning, they wake up with neuroparalysis or they develop bleeding manifestations or renal failure. Nobody is there at home or they don't realize it is because of the snake bite and often they die at home. So we have to understand, no, any traditional form of therapy is not able to no, detoxify the effects of real poisonous snakes. What happens most often is 70% are non-venomous or non-poisonous, even in poisonous snakes, Sometimes it can be a dry bite, meaning there was no poison injected because of the bite. These patients survive. They think the traditional healers or the herbal remedies have cured them. But the caveat here is if it was a poisonous snake and this poison was injected, it is going to ultimately land up in serious consequences without realizing this people ignore medical attention so my request to you on this international snake bite awareness day is whenever any person has a snake bite they have to immediately seek medical attention from the health facility nearby and they should not ignore any snake bite in fact Great bites sometimes can happen at night without much of pain at the site of the bite. So people can just wake up in the morning with paralysis. So an undiagnosed paralysis also warrants an immediate attention in the health facility, especially in rural areas or in crowded urban areas where there is a risk of snake bite. Hopefully this video was useful to you. If you like this video, kindly share it among your friends and relatives. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again. Bye.